Hello, my quilting friends. We are updating and upgrading our Quilters Creative Touch software today. This is an easy process, but there are a few things that will make it go much faster and easier. And just so you know, as of June 2024, you can update from QCT 4 or 5 up to QCT 6.00.60. So if you are running a much older version of the software, it's time to update so you can use some of our great new features and lots of new designs. To begin, we need to first get our computer healthy. These are the steps that you'll do whether you're updating or upgrading your software. I have four tips from Grace Company Tech Support. Tip number one, disconnect from your QCT system. This means unplug the USB cable attached to your long arm or little rebel sewing machine and set your tablet on a table. Tip number two, turn off airplane mode and connect to the internet. Updating from online files is the easiest and fastest method to update your software. Also, by being connected to the internet, you'll be able to handle registration immediately rather than having to call tech support for help. Tip number three, run a virus scan. If you're like me and you keep your computer in airplane mode while running QCT, most likely the second you turn airplane mode off, you will need to run a virus scan. Let your computer take care of itself and run the scans it needs. Tip number four, also update your computer if Windows has new updates available. If you don't, Windows might actually try to force an update, which will not be fun. This may include restarting your computer a couple of times, depending upon how out of date it is. And a bonus tip number five, final tip from me, make sure that you personally are well rested, have plenty of time, and possibly do this update first thing in the morning on a weekday. So if you run into issues, you can reach out to me if I'm your dealer or Grace Company Tech Support. Updating at 11 o'clock at night on a Friday is probably not the best time to start this process. So please plan to take your time with this and make sure you are not hungry, angry, or tired as nothing ever seems to work well with computer software if I'm feeling bad. Updating QCT. Now to begin the update, we do need to be connected to the internet and in simulation mode. I've unplugged my QCT tablet from the machine and set it on a table. Notice that I don't have the USB cable attached. I personally like using a mouse so I have better control over my computer, but that's not a requirement if you don't have one. I'm going to open up QCT and click yes to agree to going into simulation mode. Here is our main screen of QCT 6. This is the base level of the software, so I only have edge to edge quilting. To check for updates, we're gonna click on help and scroll down to software management. Click on check for updates and then update from online files. We're going to click the little box for QCT 6.00.60. If the update begins immediately, a little blue box begins to fill up, then you needed the update and it has launched. If you get an error message here that tells you that the update file version is the same as the version you are currently running, then you don't need to update. In this case, do what it recommends and click no. But I do need this update, so when I click the little box for QCT 6.00.60, it will launch the update process. The program will begin updating with a little box filling up with a blue line, then it will close QCT completely and open a wizard to manage the update. Just follow the steps in the wizard, accept the license agreement, and place the QCT folder where it's recommended. Yes, even if that overwrites the folder you already have. Here you can see me running through the steps on my computer, and I'm jumping ahead a little bit because you just don't need to see a little green box filling up. It just takes a few minutes. And when it's done, click Finish. At this point, you'll need to reopen QCT. Make sure to double click or tap carefully on the icon to open the program. If you accidentally tap it four times, you may end up running the program twice, which will cause issues as it will do the second half of the update now. So carefully open the program, just a double click, and it will remind you to be disconnected from the system, which we've already done by unplugging our USB and by being in simulation mode. 
a white box will open as the files transfer into the correct places. If you receive an error message on this screen, it's probably due to a virus scan or Windows running an update. This is why we make sure our computer is healthy and running happy before updating. The next step is to load our drivers, and we begin by clicking Load Drivers. A Window Explorer screen will open, and we are looking for the CDM setup file. Double click on this file and extract. Again, a new wizard will open to move the drivers into the right space on our computer. Follow the wizard. You will accept another license agreement before it will allow you to click finish. Now this is the part I always find a little confusing when it comes to loading my drivers and that's because the Window Explorer screen is still open and taking up all the space. So we're finished with this. We don't need to click on it again. So at this point we hit the X button in the corner to close that window. Now we click OK and then OK again to restart the program. QCT will relaunch again and we will again have to click OK to stay in simulation mode. Now what if you're ready to get back to quilting? We need to replace our tablet in the tablet bracket and reconnect the USB cord for QCT. Something you might encounter as you restart QCT is a firmware update. So let's cover this next. Firmware update. When you plug your tablet into your long arm or little rebel, you may be prompted to update your firmware. This is updating the carriage below your long arm or little rebel. I didn't have to do this with QCT 6.00.60, but you may need this firmware update if you are updating from QCT4 or QCT5. This footage is from a previous video, but I wanna show you just in case. As the software boots up, a screen will appear that checks the firmware of the carriage. If the firmware is out of date, this message will appear. We will click on yes to continue with the highly recommended firmware update. Now the instructions are very specific to turn off the sewing machine, that's your CUNYC long arm or Little Rebel sewing machine, but to keep the carriage on. So I'm just gonna click the rocker switch on my long arm. This leaves the carriage on, but has turned the long arm off. Next, we need to prompt the carriage to update by clicking this button below the carriage. Just press it in firmly and let go. After the button is pressed, the firmware update begins automatically. After the box fills with blue, QCT will ask you to power cycle the motor carriage, then turn the machine back on. Power cycling means to turn off the carriage and turn it back on. So I click the rocker switch on the power strip on the bottom of the carriage and then click it back on. Then click the rocker switch on the back of the machine to turn it back on. You'll hear the system restart and wait for the long arm to fully reboot. It does take more time for the Cunic X Elite tablets to fully turn on, so please just be patient. Now only after both the carriage and sewing machine are fully on do I click OK. I will then double check that you followed the steps and ask, have you power cycled the motor carriage? Click yes. We will then click OK to shut the program down and you'll restart it once more. As QCT boots up once more on the startup screen, we can see our software level and version. We have successfully updated to QCT 6.0060. With QCT 6, we now have four levels of the software. QCT 6 is the new base level, which allows you to do only edge to edge quilting. This is a great way to finish quilts quickly, and I love the new interface, which makes quilting on my hoop frames and advancing the quilt side to side very easy. But the main feature quilters really like is the ability to import new designs. You cannot import designs into QCT 6 level because it can only do edge to edge quilting. Importing is disabled because if you accidentally imported, let's say a block design like this feather wreath, it wouldn't work as an edge to edge design. If you want to import designs and be able to quilt new blocks, triangles, border corners, and more, you'll need to upgrade your QCT software to at least QCT 6 plus. That's the middle level of the software. Each level of the software is a little different. Please keep that in mind as once you're at a higher level, you can always switch to a lower level. I personally love quilting edge to edge with QCT6. So even though I have QCT6 Pro on one tablet, I will use QCT6 level to quilt edge to edge. It's that good. So now let's go through the steps of 
upgrading your QCT from one level to another and how that process works. The first step is to disconnect your QCT tablet from the machine, unplug the USB cable, and make sure you're connected to the internet. You especially want to be online for an upgrade so you can handle registration of your software immediately. Notice that my QCT software is not open and I have the upgrade in the form of this USB thumb drive. I'm going to plug this into my tablet, but notice that it cannot fit into the smaller USB-C ports on my new tablet. This is the nature of technology. It's constantly changing. I had to purchase this USB to USB-C adapter for this upgrade. Just plug the thumb drive in and then plug it into your tablet. I will make sure to link up the adapters I found on Amazon below this video along with a new tablet that I'm using for QCT. Plug in the upgrade and open the thumb drive file and then click Setup. We're going to run through the steps which are actually the same as updating QCT. Pretty much just click Next or Yes until you reach the Install button. A green bar will fill up with green as the files are transferred to your computer. Then you'll click on Finish. Close the file explorer and again click on the QCT icon carefully to only double click or double tap on it. If you accidentally hit it four times, you'll be running the program twice and that can really mess things up. So carefully open QCT and the files will begin transferring. Again, if you get an error message on this white box screen, it's probably due to having a virus scan or a Windows update running at the same time. QCT will reopen again and again, we need to load our drivers. Look for the CDM setup file and double click on it to launch. Follow the wizard again to load the drivers. Again, the Windows Explorer screen stays on top, but we don't need it anymore. So we're gonna click the X to close that program and click OK and OK again to restart the program. QCT will open again and ask us about simulation mode. We want to keep on simulating, so we'll click OK. It will remind us to disconnect the USB cable, which we already have. Now, for an upgrade, we are changing levels of the software, and Grace Company likes to make sure you're the one doing this. There are a lot of instructions on this page, but basically, if you've already registered the QCT6 level of the software and provided a mobile phone number, you should receive a text with a link to validate or verify your software. You can also complete these steps via email. You will receive an email from Grace Company if you provided an email address instead of a cell phone number. Of course, always check your spam or junk mail folder as email is notorious these days for filtering emails, especially the ones you need to find at a specific time. While I was on the screen, I didn't even have to click OK. I received the text from Grace Company automatically. I tapped the link on my phone and it opened up a page on graceframe.com on my phone and verified that I was making changes to my software. So with it verified already, I clicked OK and once the program opened, I had successfully upgraded to QCT 6 Plus and the software was registered. There's nothing else I needed to do. So here we are on QCT 6 Plus the next level of the software. And just in case you're wanting to pop back and forth to the different levels, like I described, just click on the button for try other product tiers. It's down in the lower right hand corner and you can switch back to QCT6. This is what I do whenever I wanna do that edge to edge quilting. And I can switch back to QCT6 Plus and have lots more design and placement and control over where my designs are stitched in my quilts. So that's it for this video. If you're interested in upgrading your QCT6 software, come find the upgrade kits we have available at leahday.com upgrade. Until next time, let's go quilt.